What's going on, Ambitious Vets? Welcome to episode number 11 of The Ambitious Vet with 17-year Air Force veteran and founder of Learn and Live, Daniel Faust. Welcome to The Ambitious Vet. My name is Chris Hoffman, former Marine combat veteran turned passion driven entrepreneur. Now we are here to dig into the trenches with today's top performing military veterans that were once warrior made but are now passion driven with one end goal in mind and that was for you guys to uncover the secret formulas and the blind spots that are holding you back into living a more meaningful, fulfilling, and top performing civilian life. All right, now are you an ambitious vet that's out there seeking more out of the uniform? One thing I recently shared on a podcast that I was interviewed on with Donnie Boyven, I shared that I was a guy that got out of the uniform with a huge vision, but was met with big adversity. Now, if you are an ambitious vet that's out there that's seeking more, figuring out what is the secret formula to getting out of the uniform, I invite you to go and visit the Veteran Empowerment Transition Group on Facebook. We have close to a 500 ambitious veterans coming together with one end goal in mind, and that is how do we thrive out of the uniform? How do we be effective? And how do we create a personal brand that monetizes out of the uniform? It's all about what do we want to be known for? Think about that. What do you want to be known for out of the uniform? And then how do you monetize it? That is our end goal inside that group. So guys, go and visit Veteran Empowerment Transition Group on Facebook. Go ahead and meet. We'll meet you there. Now guys, also, we have a brand new ebook out. Now guys, for the specific ambitious group community that hears this and is inside our group, we're still offering a $6.99 price point for the ebook. Also, if you wanted to upgrade to ebook and audio, we're going to offer that at actually $14.95. And then also, if you guys wanted a 60-minute session with me added on top of those two, and really my intention is that with me, is to really dive into one area that's super important to you and have you get clear on what is the best execution for you to actually get out there and monetize and be effective in that one area. So guys, you guys can visit ambitiousvet.com for information on that ebook, the audio, and the consultation. Guys, without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, guys. So today who we have on the show is Daniel Faust. He's a 17-year Air Force veteran and founder of Learn and Live. Now, guys, he's considered as the relationship expert in the veteran, active duty, and mill spouse community. He really is. I mean, he is the guy that just wrote the book, Leave No Marriage Behind. He's a behavioral consultant specializing in leadership, communication, and relationships. He's trained thousands of personnel in three continents, and he was on the verge of of going homeless three times in his life, which you guys know for a fact, those of you guys been following me closely, that has hit me twice. And for those of you guys on here that hear that, this should be motivating and inspirational for you guys. Now guys, this was recorded last year in 2017, I think in September time period. So guys, to be more relevant, because now we're in May of 2018, he is on the verge of launching Um, a new platform, and he's doing a webinar called How to Build and Maintain Your Thriving Personal Relationships While Building a Business. And he's teaming up with another military influencer, guys. So, guys, this webinar is going to be May 21st, and I'm going to actually post the website link in the show notes below. So definitely, if you guys are interested, I'm sure they'll have a post-recorded version of that webinar. Go out and figure out what it takes to thrive in your relationships while building a business. I know for me personally, um, I actually lost love about 10 months ago around you know prioritizing my ambitions, which is this show and my personal business, vet training and coaching. I lost love because the woman did not feel valued or cherished. So guys, I know how important it is to have your relationships thriving and your business thriving at the same time. And this is the guy 
that you need to talk to if you want every area of life to work. So guys, get out there. I'll post his comments and his actual link to the website actually in the comments below and in the interview, he'll tell you more on how to follow him on social media outlets and his website, guys. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the interview. Daniel, are you there, brother? Yes, I am. Awesome, brother. Welcome to the Ambitious Vet. Awesome. Sweet. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> awesome, brother. So, brother, I just want to kind of dig into the trenches straight up, man. Um, you said you transitioned back in 2012, correct? Yes, I did. Awesome. So tell me how that transition story. Uh, basically, I was a mental health technician before I got out. I was trying to figure out my calling about teaching the world better relationships, and that was a stepping stone to get to learn and live. Uh, we got had to transition out of active duty because that MOS didn't work out for me, AFSC, whatever you want to call it. So they said they had some really crazy regulation that says, hey, you need to do this, this, and this. I'm like, I'm not becoming mentally retarded or I'm not losing my speech <laughs> to go over and to keep my career. So I transitioned out and went to reserve. A couple months later, and I was grinding on my business. I moved down to Arkansas with my four kids and uh, hit up about, there was 3,000 churches down there. I hit about 250 in two months, mm. grinding it out with my uh, severance package. Once you get to a certain point and you start looking at your budget, you're like, oh no, got to yeah. go find work. So I'm still grinding it out part-time when I was uh, finding work full-time. And we got down to $300. And I'm like, Lord, what are we going to go over and do? I said, I'm trying to go follow your calling to teach the world better relationships. I'm grinding it out. Everybody's like, yeah, but we're going to wait. Yeah, we're going to wait. You know, you get those seminars, those churches that be like, yeah, come back to us in a year when we're ready. And I'm like, mm. oh, dude, that's a long time. Right, like, right. So I got to teach some churches and whatnot, but it wasn't enough. So I got the $300. I'm like, God, what are we going to do? And Lord and behold, my veteran's uh, disability kicked in and then a job kicked in and God brought Providence back into the household. So we grinded it back onto the workforce for a couple of years and still trying to help people. Did it on the reserve side, teaching free classes, professional development seminars and whatnot. And we got to the point like they'd call us on orders like, hey, you want to go teach the whole base on this topic? And I'm like, sure. And then they'd be like, oh, we're broke as a joke. And I'm like, oh, end of your spending. Why? <laughs> so after, after about four more years doing it out and two more times of like, hey, we ran out of money. I even had my coworker shoot 12 people at one job. That was the DC Naval Yard shooting. I had one coworker threaten my life. It's been a crazy uh, roller coaster. But we're like, hey, we're here to teach the world better relationships. This is what our calling is. This is what our passion. This is what go over and helped our marriage go over and thrive instead of just survive because we almost went through a divorce like in our transition getting married in 2006. And we're just still grinding it out. So whatever we have to do, if we're homeless on the street, we're going to go love people and give them better relationships. If we're a millionaire baller, we're going to go love people for better relationships. So that's basically the transition story from the trenches up to the treasures. So in between. Mm. Mm. That's awesome, man. I love that last line you just gave us. You just gave us a golden grenade with, uh, what was that? Something to treasure? That was good. Uh, to, to go from trials to treasure. See, you got it's time to go back to the courting because it's more of like it was from the heart, so it just came out. So it just came, man. Don't worry, man. I'll put that in the notes afterwards. No worries. But yeah, oh, man. I mean, this is a prime example, um, ambitious vet nation of a guy that got out, went through the trials and tribulations, did what it took, became resourceful, was ambitious, looked at his resources, and found a way to get to where he is today, guys. How many of you guys are on the verge of being afraid to get out of the uniform? or because of you don't know how it's going to work out, or you guys are in the transition currently, maybe a year, two, three years out, and you're still just trying to find rhythm and momentum. This guy made it happen. And now, brother, where are you at right now? You're in Tucson, Arizona. Can you tell the audience what you're doing? Yeah, right? I'm in Tucson, Arizona, Davis Moffat Air Base. I'm interviewing with uh, Colonel Tatum to do his PACE program, which is the Professional Arms of Continued Education. They're wanting to empower the Air Force with empowering human capital. Because, guys, if you're in the military, it's always about task, task, task. But if you find out, it's got to be about people. It's got to be a balance in between. It destroys people all the time, marriages, suicides, things of that nature. But we need to go over and empower each other. We need to know how to work together. We need to have better relationships. We got to take on what is observable and then make it reality. And that's what they're teaching today. So after this interview, I go back in with my daughter. My daughter's coloring right now, doing some pretty awesome photos. I'll show you guys that later in the tags. <laughs> uh, so you got to empower family when you go doing this as best as you can, but that's what I'm doing today. And then I head back to Phoenix, 
And then I'm on the road, Durango, Colorado, Tuesday, Phoenix, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I'm back to Tucson Friday. And then I'm going to be drilling this weekend. I'll be, miss, I'll be missing your guys' great conference because I'm doing a UEI. It's like a big inspection and whatnot. And then yeah, I'll be grinding, yeah. it back, grinding it back out on the road and then trying to build workshops and seminars. So that's what's going on today. That's awesome, brother. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're just in the trenches, man. You're doing what it takes to be a top performer and providing much value to the world as possible, man. And I just appreciate who you are for people in the world, man, as far as enriching their relationships and having the relationships thrive, which that's why I'm excited to have you on the show because mm -hmm. a lot of the guests that we've had up until this point have been guys that are just, you know, just straight up, you know, guys that are grinding um, mm -hmm. and talking about business, kind of what their, you know, kind of what their retail product is or what their purposes or their passion, but you're bringing a different angle, man. You're bringing in today um, how to have these guys' marriages and relationships thrive, um, that the viewers that are watching. This. So what I want to ask you is, is what do you see is the biggest challenges that transitioning veterans deal with in their marriages, their relationships with their significant others when they're getting out of the uniform? But you said so yourself that you were, you survived the divorce and stuff like that. I want to. I want to hear what are the biggest challenges and what are the solutions that you are bringing to the transitional community to kind of empower them in that area. Yeah, the first thing is is that they need to go over and understand their wives, and they need to work that through while they're on active duty. You can't just go over and just do it your own way because you lead it at work, people go over and follow, but you need to go over and lead your marriage with the heart of your wife and your kids in mind. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. So if you don't understand on your God-given personality style and you don't understand your spouses is not going to bring understanding. I understood things in the vertical sense of Jesus and also Christianity. And it always talks about love your wife as Christ loves the church. And you're like, what? What does that mean? <laughs> and until I went over and digged into this book called Positive Personality Profiles mm -hmm. on my first year of marriage, wrestling with divorce, and I'm about to have my first child at the time, it came to the reality that I mean, now I can love my wife is how she's wired. That exploded and that changed a lot in the marriage. And even as the trials came up and, you know, we still wrestled with it again because we had the deployments, we had the kids, we had almost homelessness and all those other types of things. If you understand God and you understand your spouse, then you can go over and have your marriage thrive. The top 10 things in divorces is communications and finances. And mm -hmm. our finances have been down in the tank, but our communications, our love and our intimacy is up so we can make it through the trials and get on forward. And mm -hmm. that's why me and my wife are writing the book. She co-authors the book with me. So that's the first thing you got to understand. You got to understand your spouse in the bedroom and out the bedroom. Just because you can <laughs> rock it in the bedroom doesn't mean you're not rocking it out of the bedroom. Because right, that's right. you can you can learn sex anytime. I'm just telling you, it doesn't take that much. We're not sexually compatible, really. You can figure that out. I mean, man and woman, come on. I mean, but you need to figure it inside the bedroom and outside the bedroom, so you're thriving, and then you can take that to leadership and communication in your mm. job and in your business. Because guess what? If your wife goes pops to the divorce paper, more than likely your business is going to go your leadership's going to go. Everything's going to tank. It's going to take you time. The most ambitious vet is going to take a couple years to go transition from that. Why not go invest a little bit a day to go thrive with your wife so then all things can thrive together? Mm. Mm. Man, there was so much value in that, man. But what I heard in all of what you just shared and what I want to kind of point out to the ambitious vet nation here, and I'm sure they took away their own value from that is of course with that there's basic principles and in, in, in life right the mm -hmm. one of the best books i've ever read is how to win friends and influence people and the foundation of communication if you don't know how to mm -hmm. communicate open your heart share vulnerably be open and actually get out of your own narcissistic needs and actually get over there in other people's worlds um you know there's never going to create a win-win in a way to actually connect with another human being and it's the foundation something as simple as communicating listening more versus talking more that actually can allow your, your your significant other your spouse and all that to not only be able to contribute to you because man i know with this launch of your book man you're all over the place and communication and openness is important isn't it? oh yeah definitely key because when you're traveling around the nation the funny part was is that even when I was deployed, I talked more than most spouses. Like we talked an average yeah. six hours a day. You got to find a way. There was an Air Force instant messenger. Everybody's like, I don't want to use that. I'm like, I'm just able to communicate with my wife. I'm doing my work and grinding and then communicating with the day, you know, and you have to be connected in that regular realm because you're going to, you tend to lose them. It's like you change so drastically in those four to six months, year deployment, whatnot. And if you're not regularly connected and intimate, you need to go figure out that way, especially if you're going to, if anything happens to you in the frag, 
you know, one of the best therapies I'd recommend if you are in the frag and you got PTSD is couples based cognitive therapy. Mm -hmm. The reason why I recommend it is because now the spouse understands and the spouse can help you thrive because you have a 90% chance of divorce if you have a mental health illness in your family. And we had that in our family. One of us had a mental health illness. God healed it a couple of years ago. And uh, it was one of those things that if you don't go over and work that out and you don't have that communication, because some things get really deep in the trench. If you ever watch those movies about brothers, I think it was, and they did a portrayal of that. I mean, these things could happen at a moment's notice. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to be like, just get a divorce. And that ain't going to work because if you look at the statistics, second and third marriages, if you don't work through your brokenness from that, you're not going to thrive in your marriage. And I, and I know second and third marriages have gone over and thrive. And there's been some really heinous things that, okay, they couldn't work through other than communication and intimacy. But most divorces nowadays, most relationships breaking, most businesses going and destroying is based on communication. That's it. If you can communicate and I and you can go over and talk and we can understand each other, we can have a better relationship. Mm, it's very well said, brother. It's very well said. And I, I think there's a big need out there in the world of the guys that are especially combat veterans that come out with this sense of numbness um, out, out of the uniform. Because I have a very close friend of mine recently that um, committed suicide during his transition and left one of my really good friends in an organization that I'm a part of out here in San Diego and mm -hmm. value very importantly, left her kind of just like, what, what, I don't, I don't even know why he did it. Kind of just lost with this, like, well, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what happened. So what is your message? What is your message to, and I know you're, you're dealing with the, the, the daughter coloring and stuff. You might as well see the photos while we're at it. We're already talking about, there you go. Bam. Come on, man. She's creative. Look at that. Yep. Glitter glue, glitter glue. <laughs> one more, one more. There we go. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh, wow. We'll like get back. We'll get back. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Yep. So yeah, brother, I mean, what would be your message to these guys that are getting out of the uniform that don't know, you know, are at that point where they're numb. They don't know how to open up to their spouse and share what's really going on and compartmentalizing their emotions. What would be your message to these guys? Well, it depends on uh, where you're going at. So let's say they actually have a mental health illness because of that type of thing. They need yeah. to get connected with the VA, get connected with a coach, a consultant, whatever it is, to start working that stuff out, even if it's guy versus guy, because guys work shoulder to shoulder. So start doing some shoulder to shoulder work, even if it's just a best friend and bud, you need to start working that stuff out, get in the car, get in wherever. Now with your spouse, usually females are typically face to face. You're going to have to take that time. So they got to share one another. It's, uh, uh, ways of communication. So if you're the female spouse and you're the female veteran connecting, you're going to tend to do face to face, but your husband's going to do tend to be shoulder to shoulder. Get that shoulder to shoulder time with them so he can better communicate with you. Sometimes you might need to get in the car. You might need to get into the sports game and whatnot. If it gets more in depth than that and you it not as in depth than that, you're just having communication, get yourself some really good books like our book, Leave No Marriage Behind, or go over and learn the five love languages. Go over and start getting some marriage conferences. Get some date nights on a regular basis. You got to start doing this stuff now. It took you time to develop a relationship to marriage. You need to go and develop it. Get your doctorate degree in your spouse. That's our chapter 11 is doctorate degree. You can get all the knowledge in the world and become the most ambitious veteran in the world. But if you don't have your spouse, you lose everything else because that's the person that binds you in the glue. Now, if you're a single vet, you just need to learn to go over and just get some great communication skills because it's a big transition getting out. You just can't be dominant and direct and hitting walls coming in you manage your own biz you can go over and do that you're managing the corporate world you got to make that transition because everybody communicates differently yeah yeah i got your passion man you're very clear on what your what your message is to the world and it's pretty amazing because i'm getting even a lot out of this interview as well uh, being a guy that's extremely ambitious working a full-time job growing a business and a movement of this vet training and coaching company where we're helping you know veterans become top performers and not lowering their standards out of the uniform through coaching mm -hmm. workshops and yada yada like i'm getting so caught up in the grind of getting somewhere that even me being a single man that's so focused don't doesn't open my heart to women to even have an opportunity to experience you know me and my heart and stuff like that so i'm mm -hmm. gonna go pick up your book brother <laughs> all right that's cool i'm definitely that's gonna cool. get it so um, kind of transitioning to just that, man. Tell us what inspired this idea around this book, Leave No Marriage Behind. It all started uh, about 20 years ago, actually, that my mom and dad got a divorce, and I've been wrestling with it why for the past 20 years. And I come to find out the primary thing was communication. She was more sweet, sensitive, stable status quo, and my dad was more dominant. 
you can get along, but they naturally opposites attract and then opposites attack. So they go and go like this. And then when, as that transition happened and they were going, then adultery came in. It wasn't adultery that destroyed the marriage. It's usually communication and intimacy that goes over and destroys it first. Husband tends to go pursue work. Wife goes over and pursues home. They start dividing. They do the shoulder to shoulder for a bit and it works for a season. And then you go back to back and okay, that's when you have like more kids and you're trying to handle everything. But then you go so far and you keep walking backwards and you turn your face around and you're like, who the hell are you? And then you then find that person. So if you're not emotionally, communicationally invested, then that goes on pulls chocks. At least that's the summer I got over the past 20 years. And I didn't want my marriage to go and go out that way. And I kept seeing again and again, divorces just wreaking havoc, kids, you know, and everything else. And, you know, uh, they, you need your fathers in your lives to go over and to grow and everything else. Even if it's an absent father, an absent father goes over and affects kids, sons and daughters. So after that we just we never thought of actually writing a book we were just helping on marriages and whatnot so we got certified as behavioral consultants in 2011 we're like god what are we going to do with this how are we going to help out the military and he made it clear it's like hey we're going to get out and do it that way so the book actually came up from just connecting being that ambitious veteran going over and giving and doing opportunities someone from australia went over and said hey i need help with my event i'm coming to the u.s i raised my hand and said hey got to know them got to like them got to trust them and their company is the ultimate 40 hour author. So I was just going around the nation, helping them get their event into the US. And then she offered me the opportunity, pennies on the dollar. And I actually got my book written in two days. The only thing that's preventing us right now from getting it out there is editing and a little more finances. That's it. Once we get a little more push, if we get a big surge of books getting sold today, we can have it done in two weeks and it'll be out everywhere across the world. Mm. But we want to do it good in budget. We don't want to go in debt because that's another part of marriage is that the finances, if they, if you're pushing yourself in debt and you're like the spender of the group, oh boy, you're just pushing your marriage into a lot of emotional trials. So you need to learn how to save, spend, steward, and share. Get those four S's down. Save, mm. spend, steward, and share. And you teach that to your kids too so they don't have those issues when they come into marriage. Save, spend, steward, and share. I say it three times because you'll be like, what? So now you got it three times. <laughs> I, love it. I love it, man. That is awesome. So yeah, man, this book is definitely feel, fulfilling a big need in the world, especially, you know, obviously on this, this show, the target market is ambitious vets. They're kind of getting out of the uniform, wanting to be top performers, right? So with that being said, I mean, what, what is your vision for this book? What do you want this to solve? What is the mission? What is the vision for this book? The mission is first is to go over and keep marriages thriving and leave no marriage behind. That's why the name of the book is that way. So when you're having trials and tribulations that your marriage still thrives, even in the trials of almost homelessness, death, you know, disease and all those types of things. We had three kids almost die. We had my wife get an infection. We've gone through four deployments, four kids, almost homeless three times. I mean, we are the epitome of the statistic that we should already been done. We should have been divorced. Like, you should have gone on year one. You were married military. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so we can keep our marriage thriving. We want to go over and keep your marriage thriving through and through and not, and not allow complacency, not allow bedroom stuff, not allow communication, not allow finances to go over and leave your marriage behind. Up there, Fifi. She's asking for a drink. So, but yeah, our main goal is to keep that. And then it goes into leave no family behind the legacy of the kids. So when Faith's going asking for a drink and in 20 years from now that her marriage can go over and thrive. And then eventually our third book will then be leading no soldier behind. Our big mission is in two to two years to be a six figure business in two to five year in two to five years, seven figure business focusing on marriage, marriage, uh, sorry, marriage, family, faith, leadership and communication. And then in five to 15 years, an eight figure business that goes over and helps those people out in those specific areas. And not for our name, Daniel Faust's name, for learn and live to be a legacy. Almost like John Maxwell's a legacy in leadership. We want to be a legacy in those five areas that your family is thriving. And we want our family to thrive. We don't want to just be grinding it out and be like, oh, I did two yeah. seminars a week uh, for 50 weeks. And you, I want you to help out your marriage and be like, where's your marriage? Well, it's down in the cracker. No, if my marriage is not thriving, I'm dropping off the book and I'm going to become a four-figure earner. <laughs> which is near yep. impossible to survive, but I will go over and do that on a thousand year scholarship, you know? <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Awesome, brother. So yeah, man, I mean, um, where can people go and find you around this book? Because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that watch this um, after this that are either going to want to hire you or want to hire you for a speaking engagement or just want to just buy the damn book, man. So uh, where can people go to find the book, find you, learn more information about you, man? 
Yeah, on pre-buy right now, we'll post the links in this podcast right after this. We have a pre-buy link for uh, the paper copy, a pre-buy link for the electronic copy. We consolidate all the money to save the most for you. So for right now, since we had a delay in publishing, you buy a paper, you get an electronic too. So it's a buy one, get one free special. If we can sell 200 books in the next, let's say, 14 days, we'll go over and give you exclusive access at cost of our T-shirt, Learn and Live. We're designing our logo right now. And so you'll have exclusive access to teachers at cost. So you'll just be paying the flat rate of what I would pay at wholesale plus shipping and handling. Uh, from there, they can find us on Facebook under Daniel Faust. They can find us under Agape Chick under Instagram. It's more my wife's flavor. So you get the husband and wife flavor. LinkedIn is Daniel Faust. And, and Perspect and Reflect is on Twitter. Our website is under construction right now. So basically find us on social media. You can, we do consultations. We do services. We do workshops. We're actually certified in 23 domains of life, but we just focus on marriage, family, faith, leadership, and communication because we want you to thrive. If you're looking for anything specific like veteran career coaching or like presentations with style or those types of things, you can get us. We'll, do, we'll deal with your sub niche, but we want to go focused, narrow, and deep because if you're not, if your marriage, family is not thriving, your leadership, communication is not thriving, you're just trucking the problems back and forth. So. Yeah, absolutely, man. And I, brother, I just want to appreciate you for being who you are for veterans, man, and um, who you are for guys that are getting out that want to fill that emptiness but don't know how to do it, man. And they lose everyone around them because they can't find that meaningful passion that drives them out of the uniform, brother. So for who you are for the community, for veterans, and who, who you are as an example of where to be outside the uniform, thank you for that. I got one more question for you, brother. One yep, more. yep. Ready for this? What is your definition of a passion-driven life? A passion-driven life is living a legacy. And that's what we want to go over and do is leaving a legacy behind that goes past you and yourself. Because if it's just you and your vision, it means no point. We want to leave a legacy for the future generations. Hmm. Once you get to kids, which 98% of people get married, so you have hope, sir, you will be married. You will have a horde of kids. If you have four kids, in 10 generations, it impacts 250,000 people. If you have six, it's 10 million. I want to leave that legacy that they see Jesus and then that they see that they have thriving relationships. Even if they don't even know my name, they'll be like, your great, 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 great grandpa left a great legacy in his marriage so we can have a great legacy in our marriages and our families and our business. Because that's what's most important is that when I die, go to heaven and meet Jesus. He calls me a good and faithful servant. That's the legacy I want to go over and leave and hopefully leave an impact with you guys as well as veterans because no veteran should be left behind. Mm, absolutely not, man. Hey, brother, I just want to thank you for joining the Ambitious Vet today, today guys. Um, for guys, if you are watching this, I would buy the book and volume. I'm sure the guy, um, Daniel, actually, you know, releases his books at high volume at a lower cost. I would buy this for your whole organization. I mean, the, the marriage and the relationship base is the foundation of anything working. If you don't have a healthy home life, You'll never be able to thrive outside of the household, out of the uniform. So, guys, if you hear this, this touches you. I personally challenge you to go out and purchase this book. I'm going to pick one up. Guys, he's going to post his content right below to get a hold of him, guys. There it is. Today's episode of The Ambitious Vet, where we're digging into the trenches with today's top performing veterans living a passion-driven life out of the uniform, Daniel Faust. Thanks for being an ambitious vet. And thanks for joining us today, brother. Yeah, thank you too. Have a great day. Well, there you have it, ambitious vets. I hope you really enjoyed episode number 11 with Daniel Faust. So guys, as always, that was a live recording back in 2017, I think back in September. So apologize for the noise on the background. He was actually at an airport leaving a convention that he was speaking at. So guys, really... People stress about the audio of their podcasts and stuff like that. I'm not one of those guys. What I really am driven off of is this is the raw, authentic version of ambitious vets out there in the trenches doing what it takes to be successful out of the uniform. I, you know, if there is a complaint about the audio, just email me as I always tell you guys, and I will try my best to clean it up. But really, the content is what matters most. And as long as you guys are getting light bulb moments and you guys are getting Getting value from it, that's all that matters at the end result. It really doesn't matter how it goes in the ears. As long as the brain is understanding it and implementing it through behavior, you guys will get to that next level. And that is our commitment here at the Ambitious Fat Show. So guys, biggest takeaway for me from this show, as always, is the number one thing that I wrote down for a golden grenade is 
It didn't matter if we were homeless or ballers. We were loving people for better relationships. Guys, that is huge. That was one of the things I learned the hard way getting out of the uniform. Our, your greatest resource is your relationships. So rather you are homeless, rather you are struggling, barely paying the bills, um, either if you're in the uniform, out of the uniform. Remember, your relationships are the most be- most valuable resources that you have. And you're either investing into them or you're neglecting them. Now, if you're investing energy into your relationships, that's how opportunity happens. That's how business deals happen. That's how more transactions, that's how much more value increase. And all that happens through relationships. So guys, if you are struggling right now, if you um, are neglecting relationships, get out there and start investing into relationships that matter most to you. Provide value into them. And I promise you, your financial situation will change. Now, for those of you guys that are well off that are going to listen to this, great. Get out there and invest into someone that's lower than you, right? Pull someone up just one level by giving them an introduction to someone that could open up a door for them. So guys, that's my biggest takeaway, guys. As always, implement one golden grenade from this show. Get out there and just take action, right? That's the biggest thing that I want you guys to get from any time you listen to the show is get out there and take some action. So guys, as always, rate, review, share the show with just one ambitious vet that out there that may not know about us to have them really get this audio medicine, as John Krotek would say, and really get into their hearts and have them be able to discover some sense of resolve in their own life and getting out there to become a top performer, guys. Now, guys, if you have any feedback or anything like that, go ahead and email me. My direct email is going to be C Hoffman. My last name is spelled with two F's and two N's is in Nigel at vettrainingcoaching.com. I would love any comments, negative, positive, whatever you have to say. Give us some feedback. Your feedback is the life and blood of this show. Guys, in conclusion, as we always end this, we know we are warrior made, but now it is time to go be passion driven. Let's go get it.